What's up guys? Today we have to talk about our favorite girl Tana Mojo because not only is she speaking out about influencers, she's also being accused of hacking one of her friends. It's a mess so let's get into it. Exposed. Exposed. So, Tana Mojo is probably one of the most problematic influencers on YouTube. She's been friends with the most problematic people, and she's generally looked at as being not really trustworthy. But last week, Tana Mojo went off on a rant out of nowhere about her experience with the influencer industry, and people are actually taking her really seriously. Here's what Tana had to say. Having the truth on your side and stepping out of a situation and realizing the reality and being grateful you got away but learned lessons is a great thing. Ridding of toxicity is good. You don't have to be afraid of bad people exposing you if you know slash have the truth. And sometimes, just because a person is problematic, you should think about the things they have to say about other people. You might not like someone, but they are behind the scenes in the same space, seeing the people you idolize for who they really are. And obviously, that's a double-edged sword. A lot of people lie and try and cancel people simply for clout, but that's my point in all this. The truth is a higher power than evil. I don't care if I'm cancelled. I spent years being terrified of telling the truth and people in this industry. I still struggle with it. I'm beginning to realize that just because I'm problematic doesn't mean I don't have a truth and a story and other people are all good slash honest. My point being, I think one of the biggest lessons I've learned this year is the truth always comes out and I thought about that a lot. The truth always wins being afraid of other terrible people just because I've had a scandalous past. I can confidently say I've definitely done a lot wrong in my life, but I look at half the things I've seen these other celebrities slash creators do, and I'm grateful to know I'm not that. It's not that I'm exposing anyone or anything, I'm just saying. The truth will always win, and I'll live by that for life. So, wow, that's a lot to unpack. Right away, people knew Tana had to be talking about another influencer because she said it was about people we the audience idolize, and since she's behind the scenes, she truly knows who these people are. She also recognized that she's done a lot wrong in her life and her career as a YouTuber, but the people that she's talking about have done so much worse that she's actually glad she's not like them. Of course, as soon as people saw these tweets, everyone was trying to guess who it was about. I think Shane Dawson. If you go through Tana's liked tweets, she liked this tweet about him. Read the whole thread. Another person said, If you're comfortable, you should talk about the things that David Dobrik did to make you feel uncomfortable. I mean, there's a lot of opinions. After people started trying to guess who her tweets were about, Tana tweeted out, Also, my last tweets are a general thought. Not aimed at anyone, more so a lot of things. But like, if you're a huge influencer and you put out tweets pretty much out of nowhere calling out the influencer industry, People are going to speculate. Some people think it could be about Shane Dawson. Tana recently liked two tweets calling out Shane for the type of videos he was doing with Tana when she first started YouTube. A lot of stuff has come out about Shane in the last year alone, and Shane has always been Tana's like mentor on YouTube. It's very possible that these tweets could be about him because she's been pretty silent when it comes to his scandal. Some people think it might even be about James Charles. Tana tweeted a few weeks ago around the time James was being called out for texting fans. Tana and James used to be very close friends until TanaCon happened. I think James really took a step back from his friendship with her right around this time. He even spoke out publicly about her failed convention. So I mean, clearly Tana and James' friendship started to crumble even back in 2018. Then, Tana spoke out about James during the whole Bi Sister scandal. After Toddy dropped her Bi Sisters video, Tana Mojo tweeted, Having to face the cold hard truth about who people really are and not who they wanted you to think they are is sometimes the most painful Thing. A lot of people assumed this tweet was about James, especially because she liked a tweet saying at James. So her most recent tweets could very well be about him too. On the other hand, some people are thinking it might be about David Dobrik. Tana was directly involved in the bit with Jason that made Trisha feel really uncomfortable. Trisha has spoken out multiple times and said Tana didn't want any part of anything with Jason and she looked really uncomfortable during the whole thing. I 
think this is probably like the least likely theory because Tana and David are good friends to this day. And just a few months ago, she like called him and was asking him if she could copy his vlog style. So I'm guessing they're still on good terms. Just the other day, Tana put out another tweet, which is causing a whole new round of speculation. She wrote, it's so sad to see all the times I was younger and clearly doing to numb this industry does to you all while being on camera crazy the way people in the industry close to me enabled it so i would be crazier and easily manipulated for money glad i got out someone replied to this tweet saying can someone tell me why jordan isn't tana's manager anymore i know he hasn't been for a while now but i never knew why a lot of people are now thinking tana's tweets are about her ex-manager jordan maybe he had something to do with this and then someone replied and said i think he contributed to her demise like encourage the whole jake fake marriage for money purposes etc i don't think he did it maliciously but after she got that life coach he had to go honestly i don't really know if i believe this theory from what we saw online, Jordan always seemed like he had to treat Tana like a child. He had to make her medical appointments for her. He had to force her to go, be her personal alarm clock. From the outside, he seemed like a good manager to her, but I guess you never know. Now, this is where the story really takes a weird turn. Cole Kerrigan actually liked a reply to one of Tana's tweets talking about influencers, which said, is this about you kicking at Cole Kerrigan out? After Cole liked this tweet, he tweeted out, when insanely manipulative people are really good at what they do because they've been doing it for basically their entire life they know exactly every step to take every word to say to make people think they're innocent but one thing i learned in life is the truth always surfaces cole and tana have been like really good friends for a while so this was definitely weird to see but it gets even more strange tana mojo and her lawyer who spelt my name wrong on a cease and desist for a hundred thousand dollars for absolutely no reason are currently trying to hack into all my social media so if you get random messages from me it's not me he then went on his instagram stories and said he got a cease and desist in text message form now i don't know about you guys but i've never heard of anyone getting a c and d via text message maybe i'm wrong who knows he then went on to share this text message cease and desist on his instagram story and it's just weird. Corey Kerrigan, if you're represented by an attorney, you are commanded to provide this notice to him or her at once. I'm a litigation counsel to Miss Tana Mojo. I am ready to inform you that your recent posting on social media videos are direct violation of the legally binding contract that you signed with my client on January 1st, 2021. The breach of this contract subjects you to liquidation damages of $100 thousand dollars per offense he then went on to post even more screenshots of people trying to hack into his social media accounts and goes on to accuse tana mojo of hiring someone to hack him he also went on a long instagram rant oh people are saying my youtube channel is gone honestly i i so much of my stuff just got hacked i haven't even gotten to my youtube channel it's never his first time acting like a victim okay but where is me acting like a victim? Like, I'm not saying that I'm completely innocent. Like, it, I, now that we're taking it there, there's going to be a video. And I'm going to upload a video about everything. And I will explain the, the shit that happened. That, that now we need to take it there. Because I'm, I'm not the playing victim. There were, there, were, there, were, there were equal, like, things that caused me to move out. Nothing to the point of where it's at. And why did it have to get there? For the first time, I ha literally haven't instigated anything. So apparently, Tana Mojo is paying someone to hack into Cole's social media accounts, and I don't know. This just seems like such a mess. Tana has actually denied the accusations Cole is making against her to Perez Hilton. Perez wrote, I doubt Cole has the money to fight this lawsuit. And Tana commented, if he wasn't directly lying about everything and slandering me entirely, there wouldn't have to be one. Thank you for more proof that this was all you. All this literally started with your phony lawsuit that you're claiming is now a lie? Make it make sense. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button because it really does help my channel and I'll see you next time.